Hey what's up guys, it's Skormer here and today I'm going to be doing a Photoshop tutorial. So first thing what happens when you open Photoshop, you're going to, you're not going to see this, you're going to see like new open up here in the corner. I don't know how to get it back up but it's, it, it'll, it'll, it, it's up here too if you just come into this screen. So you would hit new up here but I already have this so let's just show you. You would hit new at the beginning and then if you upload to YouTube, you probably want to have a 1280 and 720 height and width. And when you have that, all you just leave everything else to fall. I, I put this white, but it, you don't have to. So then you hit create. And then uh, you don't really need this, so you can just exit out. And then what you do is you go up here to file. And then open your picture that you want to put in. So I have some pictures on my desktop that I took. I'm going to show you a couple. I have this one of my hand which I'm gonna show you how to outline it and stuff like that so I have this of my hand okay let's go through the tools okay here's the first tool that I have this allows you to move anything wait hold on if you like um have something in here like a text or title or something you can move it so let me show you I'm just gonna put like da -na 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 -na, enlarge it T -t 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 so if you want to move it, you can come up here and it allows you to drag it in any position and there's these centering lines where you can center it and it, it's pretty cool. It moves it to wherever you want, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, and if you don't like it, then you can just come over here and delete it over here. Yeah, so that's that tool. This tool right here, the regular marquee tool, I think that's what it's called. It makes like a square selection, but if you want to go up here, you can just like new layer layer via cut or copy or whatever and then you have just that part so if I wanted to take it out you could just see that see how the square what I had yeah that's pretty cool but we're not going to keep it so delete it these are basically all these um, tools right here so it does the same exact thing just makes a circle whatever you want it's actually pretty handy for like circular circular objects that um, you want so deselect this lasso tool allows you to draw an outline and stuff and when you do that you can um, since it's already selected come up here and go to layer and stuff new layer via copy stuff like that so that's what this tool does and a uh, polygonal lasso tool um, does the same thing but it's just lines lines going on the outside and stuff so yeah basically yeah and then you can just connect it back here and then it's selected again do the same thing, come up here to layer, new, layer, um, copy, if you click that, then you, all you see is the place that I did, which looked like, which is just the pinky. <laughs> and that's basically all these, what they do and stuff. Um, and then, the quick selection tool. Let me show you what that does with a different picture right now. Alright, so this is my next picture. With the quick selection tool, you can actually outline, like me and stuff. Um, we don't want that there, but yeah, you can outline my face and stuff. So let me deselect this because that was terrible. You can outline that, and you can come over here and do some more outlines and stuff. And when you have my outline, you can um, layer, or when you have your outline, lay of your copy, and then yeah, it cuts out my face and stuff. Unless you want to uh, go all the way around here and then keep the face in but cut out anything else but I think that's pretty cool so here we go we can just get my body instead and then when I just have my body I can come back up here to new and then layer of ear like that and then it basically just gets my outline and then you could put a different picture behind it and then it looked like an awesome insane background yeah so that's pretty cool like that so let's delete that again and then over here is the crop tool this allows you to move your um, video as any size or anything you want and then it'll just be like that you can move anything actually in the crop tool so you can move it over you can move it like if you don't want to show some parts of this move it over to right there move it over to right there 
move it down like that just showing my face or something and then you can move it over like that and then then you just have the face and then all you have to do is go up here and then click check and then you just have the face so I'm not doing that so command Z control Z if you're you know and then perspective it just gets another another cropping angle too so pretty cool so you can get this angle and stuff without even having to do any cropping so there we go and then let's go to this tool the eyedropper tool so the eyedropper tool really um, shows every color everywhere you are so that's that color and then you can just like you know look at all the settings here and um, get the color of my nose, the color of my shirt, the color of my mouth, my lips, my hair. So that's a really weird color for my hair. But I can't believe I have that white, really white part in it. But whatever. The spot healing. So if you want to zoom in, then you're going to do this and stuff. Go to the zoom in tool down here and then do that and stuff. If you have any like pimples or something that you want to get rid of on this, the spot healing tool will do the job. So if I have this and I want to get rid of this or something, then it'll do the job and make my skin a little bit smoother than it was. See? And I'll show you that it actually works. Look. See how that just changed my hair to make it smoother and stuff? Out here? Yeah. Pretty insane. But yeah, we're not going to keep that. We're just going to... Um, actually, we might as well keep it. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. It spot heals. It makes pimples go away and everything. So, it's pretty cool. And uh, healing brush. You have to alt-click. That's what it is. And then pick an area that you like. And then clean it up. Also, you just, that's all, literally all you have to do is pick an area that you like and you can clean it up and stuff. See how it's making me look better? And then if, if you do it too much, it'll look terrible like that. So you don't want it like that. You do not want it like that. The brush tool. This basically just colors any stuff that you want. So we're just going to get rid of that. Look, if you go to the magic eraser tool, this just basically um, erases the, the background and everything so uh it's pretty amazing see it just like erases everything around my hand and I swear my hand it looks photoshopped in but it's not so you can like erase everything and it's pretty insane here is the paint bucket tool what it actually does is it makes a different color around around your uh, area that you selected and it makes it looks make it makes it look a lot cooler, like that. But uh, you can change the color and stuff uh, up here, and then you know you can do stuff with it up here, and then you can you can make the pattern too. So if you like it like uh, that or that and stuff up here, we're just not gonna have a pattern. We're just gonna have a foreground. Um, and you can also change the mode up here and the opacity. So if you want the opacity to be down more and then up more and stuff. But yeah, that's that tool. And this tool, the blur tool, blurs stuff out. The sharpen tool makes something look brighter or, um, uh, yeah makes all this darkness go away. See how it's kind of going away? Yeah, you have to, you'd have to do it a long time to do it, but um, why is it loading? The dodge tool. The dodge tool and the burn tool um, lighten and darken parts of the picture. See how this is darkening it? Unlike the dodge tool, it'll lighten it up again. See how it's lightening it up again? Here is my personal favorite, the pen tool. It lets you outline parts of the hand here, but it's not really as fast as quick selection because the quick selection really just does the whole thing quickly. 
and quicker than what it would really do the pen tool would do all right here's the where you can add titles and stuff if you want this kind of title you can make it like that or something and then make this bigger and it would look like that kind of more creepy but uh yeah if we don't you don't like it like that and then uh yeah it makes it cool like that and you could put different type of text in it like inside you can make it green or you can add like a pattern inside here this is just normal text you can text it do stuff like, I'm just doing that and you just add different texts and you can change the color up here to like if you want it blue or something change it all blue you have to highlight it. sorry I didn't do that orange made it orange so yeah and this is a really one you this is just a really just um the mouse pointer and pass selection tool it does stuff like that um rectangle tool makes a rectangle and uh you can move it around of the color and stuff you could change the color up here to a different maybe you can change it black and stuff but yeah you probably you you'll probably be using a lot of those but we don't need it so and it has all these different kinds too custom shape would be a um arrow you can make it a different shape or whatever you can make it like this or something the hand tool the hand tool lets you move other stuff around if there's something else in here also um and it lets you see this so uh if you have the hand tool you can also uh, when you're zooming in when you zoom in you can do something too with the hand tool look at how fake that looks doesn't that look photoshopped in but it's it's not at all so yeah and then here's some more tools that you can see over here they have the lasso tool so all these that I just went over are really the basic tools that you need to know in order to be a Photoshop professional so paint bucket tool um, history brush stuff like that paintbrush um, the spot healing Quick selection, especially quick selection. The lasso tool, which draws lines again, like I showed you. We don't need that, so deselect. And then, um, pen tool, you mainly need a lot. Make sure to be having the move tool also. Uh, rectangular, you're gonna need that a lot if you wanna choose something like that or something. And then go up here to layer, stuff like that. You know, you know, I already showed you, so yeah. These are basically the tools that you need to know in the beginning part of your Photoshop career. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment if it was helpful. If you want me to edit a photo, um, please tell me what photo I should edit to show you. If you want, like, in my last Photoshop tutorial I did, I edited a mountain, um, a pretty sky in the background of a mountain. So go watch that if you don't know. It would be on the end screen, so go check it out. So yeah, that's it, and always remember to have a great one, guys. Please like and subscribe.